Then you have another type of spirit which is assigned, assigned to you, assigned to you, called your guide. Now, they're only assigned to you when you decide that you want to progress spiritually. So let's say you made a decision, you were going along in your life merrily, and you know, usually by the time we get to our teens or twenties, we're starting to wonder about the secrets of the lo- of the universe, aren't we? We're normally starting to wonder, why am I here, where am I going, those kind of things. And so let's say I decided at that point that I would actually, oh, what I'll do is I'll, I've tried, lots of people talking about the Buddhist path now, so, and I like how it uh, you know, appeals to the, the peacefulness, appeals to me, and uh, the meditation techniques appeal to me and so forth. So what I want to do is just investigate that path for a while in my life. Now, as soon as you make that choice, that that feeling inside of you, as soon as you make that choice, what happens is you attract a guide who is a spirit who is still on the Buddhist path in the spirit world. And they come and assist you and help you through the process of learning all about Buddhism as they conceive it to be in the spirit world. Because they believe in it fully themselves? They believe in it still fully themselves in the spirit world. Mm-hmm. Yep. Still, still believe in the same sort of things that they believed on earth. Wisdom modifications of the new things that they've learnt in their progression. Because many of them have been living thousands of years. So obviously they've learnt a lot of things. And what they, they are assigned to you, by God actually, are assigned to you to help you work through different emotions that they also had. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it finishes up being a joint effort, if you like, of growth. And so the guide's role is your spiritual development. And it's your longing or your desire in your soul, in your heart, in your emotions, that causes the attraction of that particular spirit to you. Now, so far we've said there's two spirits. So if we just number these down, there's one spirit, there's a second spirit. These two spirits are with you almost constantly. The first one with you constantly, every waking moment. The second one is with you, dependent upon your desire. Right? 